hello welcome again to my youtube channel and click on subscribe to make your contribution like and share even comment today i'm going to show you how to create a local area network by configuring a router into dhcp id configuration i'm going to create a local area network that has a router you see this is a router and then even if we have we need the switch which will help us to interconnect many computers on the same network even here we need computers like laptop desktop and so on hmm? then after we are going to connect all those cables all those computers by using cables and even this router this is the connection where we find many different cables this is copper Pass straight through cable connected to your switch and computer mm -hmm. this is the process of connecting computer to switch mm -hmm. you remember this green color it shows us to show us the cable is blinking mm -hmm. then you are going to connect the router our router to switch in order to get internet mm -hmm. We are going to connect this this cable to switch you see by default our router port is down it means it is not up mm -hmm. then we are going to start configuration configuration of our router in this cisco you have to click you remember we, we have to click double click then here you have to come here on command line interface then continue with configuration dialog no right you know then we are here into the router interface then in router command line right en it means enable it enable loud then here we are going to configure t confi t or configure terminal we are going to configure the we are going to use the router terminal to be to configure this router we are going to configure the terminal router then here we are in the configuration mode where we are going to configure our network then in order to enable dhcp configuration we have to write this command ip sorry ip dhcp pool then pull name for example this is lan1 remember here in, in order to enter into dhcp configuration you have to write ip dhcp pool and then pull name the pull name here is lan1 then enter you see we enter into dhcp configuration then here we are going to start where we are going to write network mm -hmm. this is this is a command of network we are going to set the network 192.168.2.0 this is a network then after to write network write subnet mask this is a class c then place enter network is already set or already configured then after we are going to configure default gateway default gateway is the port where our router where our network will use pass into switch. default router see here default router suppose that we are going to use 192.168.2.1 this is the default router or gateway then place enter even here you can write dna if you have a dna server you can configure it by using dns server you see but today we are not going to configure DNS. here we are going to configure router with network and default router here after to set default router this is this is gateway or the port our router will use provide internet into switch then write do wr in order to save your configuration then you are going to exit into dhcp configuration you see here we are we are in configuration mode then exit again even here you can write exit no problem you see let me check but after to configure this router you see here on first ethernet 0 slash 0 the link is down there is no ip address ip address not set we are going to call you remember we have configured 
default router. The default router, we are going to assign the default router into this interface of router where the network will use to pass into this switch. Double click, then go on again into router command line interface then enable your router enter into configuration of terminal config t then interface we are going to set the ip address on the interface 192 we are going to use default router you remember we have used this one that was default router then you are going to set sorry this is the interface first ethernet zero slash zero enter into that interface here you have you see we have configuration of the interface config if it means here we are entered into interface then after to enter into that interface you have to configure ip ip address then write ip space address then write default router you see this is a default router even subnet mask you have used this one you see it means we have assigned this ip address and its subnet mask into this interface of the router it means our interface is the same as default router or our interface must be as default router we have configured before into our router then do right right enter okay then exit into interface then exit into configuration mode and exit the router or like log out of the router okay let me check you see this interface is not up you see here we have first ethernet zero slash zero a link is down there is no vlan ip address is already set but we are going to make the link not to be down then you have to open our router or to enter into our router then enable con enable router configure terminal then interface first ethernet zero slash zero then we are going to make this interface up right no shut down okay no shut down then right do wr in order to save the configuration even here you have to exit your interface or you have to write end okay let me check you see our interface is not down let me check here press the cursor on your router you see first ethernet zero slash zero the link is up the other remain remained interface is down it means if some user connect its connect her or his computer on this interface 0 slash 1 there is no access from this interface because our interface is down let me check we are going to obtain the ip address from here remember we have assigned dhcp into this router let me check click on the computer then choose this 
desktop IP configuration. You see here we have, we still have static, but there is no addresses. Then we are going to choose DHCP. Remember you have created the DHCP configuration. Okay? Requesting IP address. You see, it is successfully. It is on the same range. It is using default gateway. You remember you have used this as default router. And this is the subnet mask. And this is the IP address. Remember our default router has 2.1. You see? Even if you have configured DNS, we have to get DNS here. But we don't have it. Let me check another one. Mm -hmm. You see? Click on DHCP. Requesting IP address. Okay? It is well. The DHCP request successfully. Then let me choose this. Uh -huh. It is good. 2.4. Mm -hmm. Let me choose this. Mm -hmm. DHCP. Requesting IP address. Okay. 2.5. But subnet mask and the default gateway are the same. Because those computers are getting IP addresses from this router. From this router. All those computers are getting IP addresses from this router. Remember, we have configured DHCP configuration or dynamic IP addresses. Thank you for watching this video. I'm inviting you to click on subscribe, like, share, and comment, and share to your friends this channel in order to get more skills about ICT. Thank you.